question we wanted answered was why was there no police detail at that work scene? MassDOT told us this job was considered low risk. And why was that? The I-team's Lauren Lemanchuk spent today looking for that answer. Lauren? Well, Paula, MassDOT considers this job low risk based on the speed limit. They told me since this was a ramp, they agreed to do the work without a police detail. But the company O'Day works for did request one. The Facebook post is chilling. Tom O'Day was clearly concerned about the lack of a police detail on his job. According to his employer, Highway Safety Systems, they requested one. But no detail was available. Now, Mass State Police confirmed they were asked for a detail but could not fill it. So they say they then forwarded the request on to Woburn Police. No word from them yet. Now, there's a good reason O'Day might have wanted an officer on site. According to worker safety advocates Mass Kosh, O'Day's job is one of the most dangerous jobs you can have. Already this year, there have been 11 transportation related worker deaths. Last year, there were 23. And so this is something that. Um employers really need to focus on that when you are having your employees work near vehicles, especially on the highway where vehicles travel at a high rate of speed, your very first priority has to be how can I keep my workers safe? Now, a lot of people seem to be pointing the finger in this case, but bottom line here, MassDOT can make the call as to whether a job is low risk and doesn't require police presence. Again, they say in this case that decision was based on the fact that the worker was on a ramp, so drivers aren't supposed to be traveling 55 miles per hour. MassDOT also says they have about 125 projects on any given day. It's just not possible to have a police detail for all of them. Paula? Interesting to know. All right, Lauren Lemanchak, thanks very much.